KX News Storm Team. Welcome back everybody to KX News at 6 on this Thursday evening. We do still have this winter storm warning effective for much of North Dakota until early tomorrow morning. So we're going to see snowfall throughout the night tonight. Visibility is reduced in many areas. In fact, if we take a look at Kiara, she's on the roads in Minot right now in South Broadway. You can see how much snow has accumulated there and all the ice is that on the roads as well and throughout the night tonight we're going to see some of that freezing drizzle so it's going to make even more of a slippery roads throughout the night so snow freezing rain all of that and then the temperatures drop throughout the night so that's going to be an additional into the, making those roads real slippery so in fact once again visibility is reduced by much of the state in areas around Bismarck and Linton and Minot looking at reduced visibility out there so that's going to add into those slippery roads and the hazardous road conditions that we have our NDDOT map here showing much of North Dakota along with that scattered ice and snow compacted roads areas back to the west once again looking at some of that slush out there and as temperatures start to drop throughout the night tonight that slush is going to start to freeze and it's going to become very slippery. So once again, reduce visibility and icy roads along with that snow that's blowing around. You're going to want to take extra caution out there on the roads tonight. Our satellite and radar showing much of North Dakota still looking at that moderate to sometimes heavy snowfall. We're looking at some heavy stuff rolling into Wishick and Ashley. So and on the edge of this, we're also looking at some of that rain and freezing rain as well. So as this hits the ground, it's going to be very wet and heavy snow. It's going to cause for some of that slush and ice on the roads a little bit further north, some heavier pockets around Carlsruhe and Denby at the moment. So precision cast here does show that throughout the later hours of the night tonight, much of the state is going to see the snowfall return. Areas in the southeast going to have that mixture of rain and freezing rain for them. So a lot of us will have hazardous roads throughout the night tonight into early tomorrow morning around midnight. That's when areas in the southwest are going to start to clear out for us by earlier tomorrow morning. You could wake up to a few light snow showers in northern North Dakota. However, a lot of this will be out of our area by later tomorrow morning around 10 a.m. And we do have some light, slight chances of snow showers throughout the day tomorrow, mainly in the north, but it's not going to accumulate to a whole lot. It's not going to be anywhere what we've seen over the last couple of days. However, skies will dry out into Saturday as we start to see that sunshine return for us. So what we've seen so far, our snow totals, we still clearly have some of that snow out there, so this will change, but we're already looking at quite a bit of snow, especially in southwestern North Dakota around Sheffield. About 12 inches has been accumulated there 10 inches for Minot. We just got that report in nine and uh, half inches around Hazen anyway, nine inches for rugby and areas around Bismarck already looking at around four inches in accumulation. Now throughout the night tonight, how much additional snow we could see on top of that, we could get an additional three to maybe even five, maybe even eight inches possible with heavier accumulations being in that northeastern corner of the state. Temperatures right now feeling quite chilly, especially in western North Dakota anywhere from the upper teens into the lower 30s. So it's 28 right now in Linton, 18 in Watford City, and 17 in Williston. And winds feeling pretty breezy out of the north, around 10 to maybe even 20 miles an hour. So that mixed in with those already chilly temperatures, making for a really cold wind chill in areas of western North Dakota. In fact, beach, probably the first digit we've seen below zero this season so far. So it's definitely feeling very cold out there. Dickinson's five-day planner does show that these cold temperatures are here to stay over the next few days. At least we're going to see those temperatures in the mid to upper 20s by Monday and Tuesday next week. Now, nighttime lows will be dropping down into the single digits over the next couple of days ahead of us. And then by Sunday and Monday, going to warm up just a little bit, but not by a whole lot. I don't know if we can even call this warm, Joel. <laughs> not with single digit nights. No I know, way. I know. No where'd, way. Where'd the 70s go? I feel That's like. That's <laughs> what I want to know. I, I want those back. Packed away some of my Hawaiian shirts last night. It we looks should like pack those away forever. It looks like the, <laughs> looks like the party's over. No way. I'm going to be buried in one of those. Thank you so much, Taylor. Coming up next, we've seen the heavy snow.